to the back with right sides together. So we have these two cup pieces that are now main fabric and foam basted together. I used my long and narrow zigzag stitch. I've lined up this back piece with the cup pieces. So here is the front center edge and here is the side edge. And if you can still read your notes on your phone, mine was chalk and it's kind of going away. This, it says side here, so side there. I've already trimmed any excess fabric. Those are my little bits that was hanging off the edges. So now, this is the racer back, as you can see. It will be the same thing for the strappy back, but it'll just look you know, more like this, but these steps are the same. I'm just going to take these cut pieces and line them up with this curved part. I'll have a tiny little dog ear hanging. I'm going to pin this curved piece all the way around. And again, when I get to the end, there'll be a tiny little dog ear triangle piece hanging off the edge. And that is fine. You want to make sure that the two pieces line up at the 3 8 inch seam allowance line. So once I've gotten that pinned, I will do this other side, take them over to the machine, and now that we have the back piece pinned to both of the cups, we're going to baste. Using actually the same basting stitch that we used in the last step. And we can baste right along the edge. We'll do the same for both sides. And what I've done is I've, take, I've taken my main back piece that now has these cups sewn to it, and I've laid it down with the right side of the back piece facing up, and then the cups are with the right side facing down. So I'm gonna bring over my lining piece, and I'm gonna take the right side of my lining and face it down so that the two back pieces have right sides facing each other. And then I'm going to do the same pinning that I did in the last step. It's this curved edge here for both of the cups. I'm going to pin them exactly like I did before. So basically I have the cup sandwiched in between the two back pieces. I'm going to baste that together. And in case you didn't notice, I'm trying a new camera angle. <laughs> As this is my first ever video, you are my guinea pigs on how to do my videos. So I hope this camera angle works because I think it might be better. All right. So after I pin them, I'll take them back to the machine. Now we will stitch the lining back lining on. And for this step, we are going to use a straight stitch or serger. I'm happy working on my sewing machine, so I'm going to stick with a straight stitch. Don't be startled that the lining fabric is different from the pinning that you just saw. I actually have two brows going here, so I'm switching back and forth between the two. Step is the same for both the strappy back and the racer back version. And also the adjustable strap if you're doing that one. That's the only one that I'm not videoing. Stitch, not 
a basting stitch. both down and that seam is enclosed so it will not be visible on the inside of the bra. Here's how it looks from the inside and here's how it looks from the outside. 